Hello, welcome to Lion at Heart Mentorship and Advocacy. This is your host, the author of Lion at Heart, a leadership, personal, and a spiritual book written to help inspire individuals in discovering courage and greatness within. My name is Guy Hayes, and I created this five-minute weekly live talk show to share with you my inmost thoughts about winning in life. Well, a month ago, I was inspired to create a movement called Lion at Heart Freedom Journey, and it's all about being the voice for the voiceless. That is right, because as you know, I wrote this book because I believe that a book is an opportunity to use our voice for the voiceless. There is a massive cry for a change, and we must participate in this crusade to help this world become a better place. I was overwhelmed with the growth and the participation as well as the remarkable testimonies of individuals who are indeed wounded. A few openly share their loneliness, depression, feeling lost and hurt, you know, some are anxious and afraid, yet the miracle happened when numerous people led by our pioneering members share their love, care, support, and guidance back to those wounded hearts. That is what our mission in Line at Heart Freedom Journey is all about. I have formed an alliance with nine incredible ladies who are looking at exactly the same direction where I am looking. That is achieving greatness by serving others. So we therefore shall continue to grow our crusade and invite the children of light to come forward and join us. So simply go to kaihays.com, send us your email address and we shall add you in our group or simply drop a yes on the comment section below and one of our lionesses will contact you via messenger. A lion at heart book is going to teach you and encourage you to cultivate three important aspects of our lives. Basically, it's leadership, personal and a spiritual growth. So today I'll cover leadership. I believe that becoming successful is not about how talented you are, but it is about how tough you are. To achieve great things in life, you have to fight for it every single day because the daily grind is both mental and physical. In fact, it is more mental than physical. Physical ability is, yes, important, but uh, sometimes it would only take you so far. You won't achieve excellence until you train your mind to take you there. That is right. It's all about the mindset and it will demand effort. And there are consequences, of course, if you do not give it. So it is necessary to cultivate our minds to develop that courage to move on and do something. So before I go, let me leave you with three things. Number one, winners will always find a way to win. If you read my book, you will discover all the hardships that I've gone through in order to end up a winner. Did I graduate with master's degree? No. Did I read numerous leadership books? Absolutely no. I only read a handful of them. Did I spend a huge amount of budget attending huge events or classes on topics, the secret to success, how to become a winner, the mastering skills of uh, blah, blah, blah? I'm not, okay? I did not. But I'm not saying it's not good. They are actually great. In fact, I believe in their teachings and follow most of them, especially Jim Rohn's leadership. Ah, but I realized this, guys. Their knowledge are also found online. They are everywhere. You can listen to their YouTube videos and read articles about their leadership. But don't overtrain yourselves. Instead, put those, those little golden nuggets into action, especially like me. I must confess, I had little to no resources growing up, right? So not that I didn't like to do it, but I'm saying I cannot simply afford those leadership classes. So should I ask a question and make excuses? I can't flourish in life because my hands are tied. Winners always find a way to win. What did I do? I simply associated myself with successful people. I surrounded myself with winners. I focus on positive people, talk and spend time with them. There are numerous less expensive resources in order to win. So trust me, if you are willing to make an effort, you will ultimately become a winner. Is it overnight? No, it will take time. My journey with Line at Heart book says it all. I faced so many hardships in life, so many obstacles. It was indeed a tough journey, 
but I was committed. That's the difference between people who achieve success and who fail. The ones who failed are the ones who did not commit. It's all about commitment. Second, success needs no explanation. There's no secret ingredients to success. There's no secret to success except to follow yourself, okay? Give yourself a chance to fail, which means you ought to be willing to take action. Do it. Just like Nike says, just do it. Don't let others do it because if you do, they will win. You do the action yourself and expect to fail like I did in the past. It hurts, try it again. It hurts, try it over and over and practice until you are numb that it does not hurt anymore. Don't disregard your hardships in life for it will definitely shape you well. It did to me. Third, failure needs no alibi. You are a success because you want it bad enough and you know where you're going. Plus, your why is so huge, nothing will stop you. So before taking a journey or taking a huge project, do me a favor, find a good reason to fight for something. And if you don't, you will fail. Why? You will quit. <laughs> you will quit because you will not be able to sustain because of the massive obstacles you will face throughout the journey. Oops, I'm running out of time. So I just wanted to tell and remind you of two things. Number one, care to get a copy of this book, Lion at Heart? Go to kaihays.com or amazon.com. And I am personally inviting you to our live Facebook, Lion at Heart, What About Your Story? Saturdays, this coming August 8th, 6 o'clock p.m. That's a Saturday, it's a day. We are featuring a great topic of the book on chapter two, Victories Over Sacrifices. Go plug in, okay? It's a date. Ciao.